Hi everyone, welcome back to Sonic Adventure after like 10 years or whatever. That was a long, that was a long break or whatever. Uh, 42 years actually and 12 yeah. months. 3 months. I don't know I said 12. Oh, 12. <laughs> That's a year. My, Andy just had a birthday 12 months ago. Can't be his yeah. birthday today. <laughs> oh, my, I have um... An aunt who always says that to me, like, oh, it's my birthday, and she'll be like, no, it can't be, you had a birthday 12 months ago. That's weird, because that was a really bad joke from one of the worst CN shows from what people remember. Squirrel no, play it's or whatever. just like a stupid old people's joke. You mean like a dad joke or whatever? I, don't, I was going to say have... a dad joke, but then it's my aunt who says it, so it's like... No, it... it... I think a 16-year-old says it, it's like... Sure, he says that a lot. He's one of our two subscribers. He's not watching The Undertale right now because he doesn't want to get spoiled anymore. He, he like used to watch it now. He's like, I think I should actually watch this now. I mean, I, I, he said, I Who's think I should play this now. I don't know. What, uh, him and your mom? No, Chase is the other one, but uh, oh, right. someone's going to be watching the Gex playthrough. I, they like the post where I mentioned it. Or, well, that, I screwed that up. Uh, I meant it doesn't matter really. Just yeah, I just wanted, I just wanted, cause I, I'd never gotten into that room before, and I, I screwed it up. So uh, uh oh, don't um, in these arcade games, don't that uh, character from like the Dreamcast game show up? You mean knights? Yeah, knights shows yeah. up in the knights table. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the knights table. Now. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it is, cause you go into that room, that secret room. Well, it's kind of a secret. And then after you fall down, you go into the, you go and you see knights, and he's like, or she Sonic's or like, something. you could be helping me defeat Eggman. That like, nah, I'm chilling out here. Don't uh, knights also show up in uh, one of the Sonic All Star races? Yeah, uh, it's. I think he's the flag, or she, or whatever, is the flag man in like the first, the first All Star racing, whatever. I don't know about the second one. I just know on uh, All Stars Racing you can get a uh, big the cat to ride a little moped. You go slow as shit, but uh, it's funny. Yeah. Um. Oh, uh, here's something. Um, Wario is, has been demoted to one of my secondaries because of all the actually good characters I can play as, which Wario is a lot of fun. I just I haven't practiced as him a lot. Oh, you mean on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Ultimate, yeah, he, he, in Brawl, I used to, he, like my, I played with some immediately when I first got it, because he was unlocked from the start or whatever, in Brawl. On, um, the, uh, the 3DS Super Smash Bros, I always used to play as a Link, because that was basically my main, but on this one, I just, since Snake's back, I've just been playing Snake, I, as I well don't as like Daisy, they, uh, Yeah, I don't like that, uh, uh, Kirby's one of my secondaries, but that wasn't what I was gonna say. Oh, Link! Uh, I don't like that they changed his like outfit. You can you, one of his alternates is like what he used to look like, but like I don't know. It, it, it bothers me a little bit. I used I loved how he looked in uh, Smash uh, Smash Melee. Whatever. Um, oh, speaking of uh, Smash Melee, you glad that uh, uh, thingy dodging's back? What? It's not exactly the same, but uh, not air dodging. Air oh, I, 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 I don't, I don't get into the competitive or whatever. All right, same. I told you it was a bad, I, I told you it was a bad idea to first each other in Smash Brothers. Oh, well, we hadn't done it. No, I, anyway, said, I, I told you it was a bad you. idea. I would destroy you. No, you would. Anyway, yeah, you, I would. Must, you, you I, would actually. I would mostly, I mostly play with items anyway because it's more fun. I it's like more it. fun with items, but uh, when I first heard it's... about the big Smash Balls, I thought it would be like a total pain in the ass, and it's actually not that bad as long as your opponents don't launch you with the big Smash Ball along with them. Mm. Big Smash Balls are alright, in my opinion. Yeah. Sort of. Uh, I don't think there's any yeah. item. Yeah, I don't think there are any items I, that piss me off like in Brawl. I don't know why I just there I just I could not play the game unless I turned off certain items, which I I've gotten a little better at the game, so I'm not as pissed off. I've got the I've got the numbers would fall off or whatever. Do you know what? One thing, 
you know if uh, Kirby inhales an item and eats it, he heals a little bit. Well, I think certain items should give him like certain abilities. Like if he eats that uh, spiky thing, it should give him the spike ability. Never ask Sakurai for anything ever again. If, if he if he eats the flit fire sword, he should get his flame ability. Uh, I don't think it's a fire sword. I think it's supposed to be a lightsaber. No, I'm not on about the lightsaber. Oh, there is a fire sword. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just saying like certain weapons or certain items should give him different abilities. That'd be nice, but I think I think we should be happy that we got like, his um, ability at all in 64. I just like her. Uh, I like Kirby. And yeah, he's a good able player. to. Yeah, he's one of my men. Uh, I I maybe shouldn't. I say also that I also him, but... soloed. Do you know the world of light? I soloed oh, it. With Kirby. That's awful. Um, how is that awful? Because you you should have been like you know I playing almost, different characters. I almost every single character with Kirby, and I completed World of Light with Kirby. I don't feel like talking to you anymore, but uh... And then, during classic mode, I experimented with different characters. Okay, that's a little better, but uh... What I was gonna say, and maybe I shouldn't say this with Chase watching, but like, the Kirby fans are starting to maybe intimidate me a little bit with how aggressive they are on liking Kirby. Kirby's amazing. Yeah, and but I like... I all like if you said otherwise. Okay. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> exactly what I'm talking about. Um... Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, they're, some of them kind of, really maybe take it too far. <laughs> anyway. It's whatever. I like the little pink puffball. I, I like the yellow puffball. I like him being colored yellow. You mean Kiwi? That's a whole different character called Kiwi. I believe it's Kiwi. I don't think, I think it's just, it's an alternate color for Kirby. No, because, <laughs> in a, what was it, Kirby's Dream Course, whatever, uh, Kiwi was introduced as player two, and that's where it, uh, that color scheme came from. No, the original, speaking, it originally came. What? Go ahead. I was going to say, so... Technically, the yellow Kirby is always known as Kiwi or whatever his name is. Technically, well, a separate character. I maybe, but like in the original game, like when they were developing it, someone was like, "Oh, let's make Kirby yellow," and then someone else was like, "Let's make him pink." Oh yeah, so you're on about, about in the original color where it was like he was white, pink. And no, not not white. No, in the original color, it was white, but. Sakurai was like, let's make him pink, and then another guy was like, let's make him yellow, but then yeah. he ended up becoming pink. Yeah, I think in the original, yeah. like, oh, well, then that, the Game Boy didn't have color, but... That's one of the reasons why they made the player 2 Kirby yellow, yeah. to... Satisfy the other guy? Inspired by the uh, other guy, yeah. Uh, can I say uh, real quickly, um... Uh, I lost yeah. thought, I was going to say something there, some like... Oh yeah, they also, uh, just in case someone didn't know, well Chase probably knows, I'm probably sure too, but, uh, Kirby, uh, was originally just a placeholder sprite in some of the games that they worked on at the time. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, they ended up just liking him, so they was like, ah, oh, do you know what, let's just keep him. Yep. And then it'll be the star of Smash Brothers. Fuck Mario, they said. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's Sakurai's baby, he can do whatever he wants. Oh, yeah. If he wants um, Kirby to be the sole survivor, then... He is. If he wants every conscious being in the entire multiverse to be friends with Kirby, he will. He'll yeah. do it. I just like how he was like... Uh, oh, yeah, I'm gonna add every single character into Smash Bros. But it's like, I'm also gonna kill them all off and uh, just leave Kirby. Then I like he that joke. Picks up middle fingers and walks out the room. I, I like that. Um, I, I forget which one it was now, but there was a different one where, like, uh, it, it was a clip from Super with different subtitles. They changed the subtitles to be funny because it was a meme or whatever. Yeah. And like Kefla was all like, you know, supposed to be Sakurai, and, he, and like Roshi was all like, "Oh dear, this is Goku's last chance to get into Smash. He's got to do really well." And it was funny. Kind of funny. 
So I, I thought it was funnier the more I thought about it. Welcome back to Sonic Pinball. Yeah, this 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 uh, pinball shit sucks. I hate it. Mm. Anyway, uh, back to uh, talking I, I about how Gordon like... Savior Kirby. Kirby, uh... can we actually talk about how I haven't played that many Kirby games? Like, like I owned the Dream Collection or whatever, and I I played like most of them except 64, and like I got bored with all of them pretty quickly. Do you know what my favorite Kirby game is? What? Amazing Mirror. Okay. Uh, I've never played that one. I've only played like halfway through the main, the fir the first campaign before you go to the second quest or whatever of uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. My, I uh... did play Epic Yard and all the way through though. Yeah, but that's the babiest of baby Kirby's. Anyhow, oh yeah, this is that. Wait, is that? Yeah, this is that Knights cameo thing I was talking about. Yeah. Anyway. Talking about Amazing Mirror, my favorite nice thing to, to do him, nice is to making money. Amazing Mirror, Kirby Amazing Mirror. My favorite thing to do is to enter a boss room and then just call for backup and just have like all the Kirby's just, just beat the shit out of the boss. Yeah, it's so fun. I also enjoyed playing it with a few of my friends back in the day. I like how the by logic the I like how everyone is capable of blowing up the sun in that game. In Kirby. Yeah, you know, it's like Kirby can blow up the sun anytime he feels like it, you know. Uh, and then uh, the Water League can beat him, so that makes him, you know, as able to blow up the sun and reach Mars or whatever. Kirby's just a beast. Well, I mean, he can die against the Waddle D like in like six hits or whatever. Right? I think that means the Waddle D is like pretty strong. I'm using mm. I'm using the Kirby fans' logic against them. You see. Mm. Yeah, but that's like people saying, "Oh yeah, Mario can take a hit, um, take take explosions to the face and like cutscenes and stuff." But during the actual game, he dies to a Goomba. Yeah, uh, can I talk about, uh, real quickly, the, uh, the Sonic fanboys who, you know, talk about Archie and talk about, you know, how in Sonic Colors you escape the black hole, so in order to escape that, you'd have to be, you know, moving at a certain speed. I'm like, no, scientists think that you just, scientists think you just can't escape a black hole no matter what. You can't exceed the speed of light, so technically you, know you wouldn't what? be able to what, what I think's funny is people are, are trying to compare these in-game things with, like, real-life stuff when yeah. these universes could have their own... Laws, laws and physics, physics and so it's like oh you're comparing a black hole to something a black hole in like real life but technically I'm, that's wrong you should be comparing it to other instances of I black was, holes in that universe not in, into into our say, universe yeah and like not only that but that might not have even been a black hole in the end of colors because like he we don't know what that stuff was exactly it's never stated that it's a black hole it could be something else Anyway, uh... Anyhow... It's... Stupid... That, uh... That's why Death got People old, are trying to... Me. It's whatever. It's kind of like, you know, when you watch Death Battle and you realize that everything they do is wrong. Because, like, they're using adaptation to... Do you know what? I like Death Battle, though. No, like, man, as long you as could. you do, As long as you don't take the stuff too serious. You can have but a good time But they broke their own it. rule, dude. They broke what? their own rule. I, 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 we went over this in one of the pre previous Sonic Oh, TV you're parts. on about the Superman Goku thing, aren't you? Kryptonite. Yeah. Like he, but Goku, to be Goku fair, should not have shown mercy. To be fair, they shouldn't even been Kryptonite in that fight anyway. Well, I they mean, only added was. that scene. No, they only added that scene to basically rule out Kryptonite. Because in in no, an ordinary fight rule, between they Goku, they broke their own rule because they had to. In an ordinary fight between Goku and Superman, Kryptonite wouldn't even be a factor. So they only added Kryptonite in for a little nod or whatever. So it also even without me that, that, you can just literally ignore that scene and just continue with the rest of the battle. Well, I mean, they also use TFS Goku instead of like the actual Goku from the anime. The I don't mean the voiceover actor. I mean like the actual character itself. The voiceover actor. Like I don't. I. I'm fine with them giving PFS a shout out, but don't. Don't sit there and tell me that Goku behaves. Hey, like like he endangers the Earth a lot, but not not 
because he wants to or whatever. It's literally whatever. I was like before Super kind of made Goku even dumber than he was before, but... Personally, I quite enjoy Death Battle. So, uh, can I, can I bring up real quickly that Goku isn't completely dumb because he passed that math test or whatever to Beerus gave? Yeah, he got a... Uh, he got... He got... He studied under Master Roshi who taught him basic maths and English. Yeah. Can we talk about how, uh, Roshi made him read a porno book? In the manga? Yeah, so, That's it's Master thing. Roshi. It's whatever. He also taught him basic maths and basic English. Yeah, and it's fine. Nice. Well, he, he also got Goku to wear lingerie to make launch wear lingerie. <laughs> That's funny because it's canon. Yes, it is. It's in the manga and it's in the uh, anime. Where uh, he gets Krillin himself and Goku to wear lingerie to get launched to wear lingerie. <laughs> Why didn't they just wait for her to sneeze or whatever? Well, they didn't know that that happened because it's when Roshi first met Launch. So they anyway, hadn't yeah. seen the sneeze yet. Because after she put the lingerie on, she sneezed. Yes. I thought she only came to see Roshi. Long she... long. What? I thought she only came to see Roshi because of uh, the fact that she sneezed and went blue again. No, yeah, no. Uh, Goku and Krillin saved her, took her to a uh, because she was about to be arrested by these guys. And yeah, she was but like in I thought. Head form. So she was. That's what I'm saying. She was blue haired, so she, so they could have, you know, been like, "Oh, could you wear your laundry for me?" And lunch would have been like, "Oh yeah, sure." And then, yeah. and then, then once she had the laundry on, she sneezed, turned into blonde hair launch, and then she pumped them full of lead, even though it didn't hurt. Them. Guy, guy. And then launch just lived with them. Yeah. Um. There's something I was gonna say there. Um. Well, Can we talk about how it started off as a gag manga, so it's in, in, indiscernible about when Goku became immune to bullets because it was really just jokes at first, kind of like Dr. Yeah. Swan? Yeah, it was supposed to start, it was not until like the martial arts tournament where it actually turned into an action base sort of a Yeah, series. and even then, it, even then, right after it, it was like a monk, it was a gag manga again with the Red Ribbon Army in a way. Yeah, yeah, and then it was not like properly a fighting show until Z. Anyway, we should be ending this up. I want to say real quickly because we got a little bit of time, but uh, I think it became a fighting manga manga when uh, Piccolo showed up, the Piccolo Senior. Okay, we can stop now. Bye. <laughs>